Fine. I'll be preparing today a Mangalorean dish called prawn gassi. Now this is uh, prawns prepared with uh, coconut based uh, curry, tikkish curry. And uh, I will be using today about 40-50 prawns. These are uh, shelled and deveined and washed. And now I will put about 1 teaspoon of salt. Or 3 4 teaspoon of turmeric powder and lime juice. I'll marinate it and keep it in the refrigerator for about half an hour to 45 minutes. And then, in the meantime, I will prepare the rest of the masala, etc. Ingredients here are about um, the 7-8 uh, Kashmiri chilies for half a teaspoon of peppercorn half teaspoon of uh, methi seeds of fenugreek seed this is a half teaspoon of uh, turmeric powder tamarind coriander uh, seed about uh, 3 teaspoons 1 teaspoon of uh, cumin seed about six seven cloves of garlic and we have uh, here re red chili powder one teaspoon one uh, onion finely chopped and uh, one uh, onion roughly chopped and then uh, we have two green big green chilies sliced few curry leaves coriander leaves for garnishing and little oil so first what we'll do and like a coconut one cup fresh scraped coconut and so first what we'll do is we will uh, dry roast these items that is uh, chilies peppercorn fenugreek seed coriander seed uh, and cumin seed uh, tamarind uh, garlic and uh, coconut and gr grind it with the onion, we'll, uh, we'll grind it, we'll have to fry the onions also and afterwards we will uh, uh, in a little oil we will heat up the uh, put in the curry leaves and the onion and then the masala the red chili powder, masala and make the curry and then put in the prawns dry roasting the all the ingredients except the onions at the moment and uh, so chilies, coriander seeds, cumin seed, fenugreek seed and uh, this is uh, peppercorns all dry roasted roasted the ingredients I'll put them in the blender and now I'll put a little oil and fry the roughly chopped and slightly fill it uh, for about two minutes and then put it in the blender along with the uh, tamarind the turmeric powder and the coconut red coconut and grind it with little water I added little uh, ga garlic those garlic and now I'll add the fried onions I've ground the masala and this is masala water I kept a pan with little oil when the oil is hot I'll fry the onions and uh, then add the curry leaves once the onions are fried I'll add the curry leaves and then the red chili powder 
and then the ground masala and once the ground masala is fried then I'll add the masala water and little more water if required you have to have a thick consistency so when you add the prawns you'll get more water from the prawns so we'll fry this onions now the onions are slightly brown now I'll add the curry leaves I'll add a little salt for the onions about half teaspoon of salt now I'll fry the curry leaves and after it becomes slightly little more brown the onions then I'll add the ground masala I've added the red chili powder that one teaspoon I've fried it for a minute now and now I'll add the ground masala fry and then add the masala water the masala now and then add the masala water mix and little more water mix well and then add the green chilies and let it come to a boil after about two minutes or so then we'll add the prawns marinated prawns i'll close and keep so the curry is nicely boiling and now i'll add the prawns marinated prawns mix well and let it cook for about 3-4 minutes by then the water from the prawns also will come out yeah if you need more water if it has dried up add little water and then uh, let it boil just give a stir and put up the fire now add the coriander leaves Prawn gussy with appams.